What's up, Light Belt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 1955 classic Walt Disney Animation Studios film, Lady and the Tramp. This is a Christmas movie, technically. No one really talks about that. The movie starts off at Christmas and it ends at Christmas. So Christmas, a puppy given the name of Lady is given to, is the Christmas gift of this wealthy couple. And as Lady grows, the family gets bigger, a baby is born. And then the couple go on this vacation by train. Aunt Sarah comes in with her two Siamese cats who sing their song, destroy everything and Lady gets blamed for it. So then Lady is taken to a pet store to get a muzzle. Um, and then she winds up escaping, but she has met this friend um, who is referred to as Tramp you know, throughout the entire film. He's a street dog, but he lives at a station, a train station, basically. Um, always avoids the pound. He's got friends in the pound. So Lady eventually gets captured, brought to the pound, instead of Lady and the Tramp getting captured and brought to the pound. Then Lady gets picked up, gets thrown in a doghouse in the backyard. Um, Tramp comes to try to make amends, basically, but then the neighborhood dogs, you know, try to, you know, shoo him away. A rat breaks into the house and tries to attack the baby and the baby's room while the, the Aunt Sarah and the cats are still in the house um, and her owners are still away. So then Tramp winds up saving the kid. Lady winds up there as well. And then eventually the you know owners come back and realize that Tramp was helping Lady and to not bring them to the pound. Then at the very end of the film, you see that Tramp has gotten his color with his license and so does Lady with there and they have four puppies now and we're at Christmas again. So it's it's a cumulative Christmas film. And not many people talk about that as a Christmas film, which is interesting. But now we have the 2019 live action, which we'll see eventually. It is on my watch list via Disney Plus. Disney Plus is addicting because every Disney film is on there. Um, yeah, so this film is is a classic because it's, it's just a classic story. It's classic animation. It's the classic songs. It's just the, the way the story is written. I like though that on the Disney plus details, it says something like, um, uh, this can have, this can be viewed as having, uh, culturally outdated references or something like that. So they're talking about having the Chihuahua speak Spanish and have a Mexican, you know, stereotype and have the, the, ro the, the Russian dog have the Russian stereotypes and have the Siamese cats have the Asian stereotypes. And I like that there's the disclaimer now it's because everybody is, you know, complaining about everything. So it kind of puts it at ease. But time is different now. 2019 is much different than 1955. And stereotypes were utilized in film back then. And they're not so much utilized in film so much anymore. So a big step. Leaping, leaping forward, do you guys like Lady and the Tramp? Are you familiar with the songs from Lady and the Tramp? Do you like the characters of Lady and the Tramp? The dog whining always annoys me. Doesn't matter if it's a real life dog or a cartoon dog. It just always annoys me. It just always has, it always will. But here's to this, to the 2019 version, which I will watch to say I watched it. <laughs> Ruchamahalo.